What's up guys? So a little bit of context here. I was working on a web scraping project using Beautiful Soup and their requests modules. To replicate what I was doing, let's imagine I was trying to get a YouTube video URL. Beautiful Soup wasn't finding it. So it turns out I was getting the site's base HTML code. But when a browser opens the site, some more HTML code is dynamically generated by JavaScript. So today we're gonna learn how to get this code using only the powerful Selenium module. Half of the work is actually just setting up our environment, which is pretty easy. We need to install a web driver. I will link it on the description. When we open it, we will see that we get the links to different web drivers. We have Chrome, good old Edge, Firefox, and Safari. If you're making a big program, you can download all of them and just iterate through them or choose the one the user has. In this tutorial, we will use Chrome. When we click on a driver, we get the recent releases. For the program I made, I had it iterate through Chrome's two most recent releases and it worked fine. For this tutorial, we're gonna download Chrome's 89 version. Then we can download the driver depending on our operating system. For me, it's Windows. After the download was done, I extracted the zip file, cut the drivers.exe file, and pasted it in my workspace folder. It's a small file, so it's pretty easy to move it around. You can also just put it on a web drivers folder for better organization. And that's it. We're ready to code. In my .py file, I will comment out the beautiful soup failed attempt so you guys can see it. I will just leave the imports there, even if we don't really use them. And I have these two variables. The link to the video, which we get from the address bar, and the CSS selector, which is how I will find the video within the HTML code. To get it, we can go to the video's website, right click, inspect, and this will open the developer's tools. So I left click on the select element tool, click on the video, and this should highlight the video's HTML code. When we right click it, we get the copy option and we can copy the CSS selector, the X path and other things we can use to find the element. We will get into this a little bit more later on. Back in our code, let's get our imports. So from Selenium, import web driver and from time, import sleep. Let's create a variable called wd underscore path and type in the web drivers relative path so we're gonna type web drivers forward slash chrome driver dot exe now let's get the web driver by creating a variable called w driver and set it equal to web driver dot chrome parentheses. You can change the web driver depending on what you're using, Firefox, Safari, etc. Important to note that you need to have the browser installed for the web driver to run. So if you don't have Safari, the Safari browser on your computer, you can't use the Safari web driver. In the parameters, Let's set the executable path equal to wd underscore path. This is how Python will find the web driver to run. Then 
we will get the site content by webdriver.get parentheses. As the parameter, let's give it the videos URL. After that, we will sleep for three seconds. Now, this is because we want the site to finish loading. Sometimes when we get the site, it won't load completely and the element won't be found. So I think this should be considered a bug, but I also saw some scripts where they also used the slip function. Once the site has loaded, we're gonna get the element we're looking for. In our case, the video. So let's create a variable called element and set it equal to wdriver.find. There are many ways to find an element and one might be better than the other depending on how the site is coded. We can find by name, CSS selector, XPath, ID, etc. If you remember from the beginning, getting most of this information is easy from the developer's tools by just copying. So we will be doing by CSS underscore selector. I will link on the description the documentation so you guys can read a bit more on how all the other methods work. As the parameter, we'll set the CSS underscore selector variable which contains the selector that we're looking for. Remember that it's this one. Finally, let's get the video URL. So we'll create a variable called video underscore URL and set it equal to element.get underscore attribute. And set src for source as a string as the parameter. If we go back to the video, you can see that the video has many attributes and setting the src for source as what we want to get will return the video's url we're going to print the video underscore url so we can see it and once everything is done let's close the web driver by typing wdriver.quit parentheses when i run this script I unfortunately had an error because I misspelled Chrome, forgot the E at the end. Once that was fixed, I ran the script again, it opened the browser, did its thing, closed the browser and printed the URL. Two important things to note is that the browser actually pops up and it takes a bit to run the entire script to get rid of the browser popping up in case you don't want it to we can set the headless option i will do that just above the line where we got the web driver let's create a variable called option underscore headless and set it equal to webdriver.chromeoptions parentheses. Then we can do option underscore headless dot at underscore argument parentheses. In this method, let's set a string that says headless as the argument. This basically means that the browser will run on the background and we won't see it. To have the web driver actually run under this option, Let's go to the Chrome class and set the options parameter equal to our option underscore headless. If we run the script like this, it will do the same thing, but this time there is no browser popping up. And as you can see here, it got us the video URL. So that's it. Hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later.